Hi, this is Rob with Quilting on a Budget, and today we're going to talk about cleaning and oiling the Bernina 590. The first thing we're going to do is remove the included accessory table. Now we're going to remove our presser foot. And now remove the needle. And this machine has a pop-off stitch plate, but you need to remove your stitch plate. And now we're moving down to the bobbin area and we're going to remove our bobbin case. And then we're going to pop open and remove the hook assembly so that it can be properly cleaned and oiled. Finally, we're going to remove uh, the cover plate by simply moving it slightly to the left for it to come off, and this way you have easy access to the thread path and your upper tension assembly. And we're going to take our brush and clean everything really well and proper. Now I lower my needle bar so that I can get all of the dust and everything around, out from around it and make it nice, clean, and fresh. Because when using cotton thread, oh, it's so dusty. Once the top area is good and clean, I replace my stitch plate cover to protect the thread path and start cleaning out around your feed dogs. These can be really, really dusty and take a few minutes to get totally, totally clean. Now we take a good look at our bobbins to make sure they're clean and all the markings are in good shape. Now we're going to clean the race and the bobbin case and get them totally clean from lint. And make sure the last little bit is out of your bobbin area. And you will notice two dots on your bobbin race and this is for oil. And all you need is one drop in each one of those holes and it has a wick that actually goes and oils the race area on your rotary hook. And then on the left side, mine is marked in red, some are marked in blue. You add two small drops of oil in this area, and that is for the thread cutter and the feed dog. And you can tell when your machine needs this as it gets really loud. And after oiling, we're going to put our needle plate back on, and then we're going to install the hook. And there's a large circle and there's a silver dot in the bobbin race area and this large see-through circle goes over that dot for you to put the race back in properly. the race has been put back in properly, we're going to raise the flap and 
wipe all the excess drops of oil away to make sure that you have a clean, easy piece and ready for sewing. And then the next step is... Now, after you finish cleaning, wiping all the excess oil, now all you do is install your new, a new needle, uh, add the pressure foot that you want to use, and to install your bobbin the normal. And now your machine is ready to work on your new project. Thank you for watching. This is Rob with Quilting on a Budget, and hope you enjoyed cleaning and oiling the Bernina 590.